so again i'm going to give you the same type of demand function exactly the same demand function let's say the demand function is max of 12 minus q comma 0 okay and the cost function is what uh it's let's say c1 q1 is uh is let's say 16 so now increase the fixed cost okay if q1 is positive and zero if q1 is zero okay and then c2 q2 is also 16 if q2 is positive and zero if q2 is zero okay so you have to figure out the nash equilibrium Okay, have you found the best response? Okay. Okay, now find the Nash equilibrium. Now, in this case, uh, you will find three Nash equilibrium. Okay, so you can, you can check this, okay, again. Uh, okay, you can plot this. And then it is this portion. So basically, you're going to get something like this. Okay. And you're going to get something like this. So this is basically four. And this is six. Okay. And if you go on like this, you will get, you will hit 12. Okay, so notice that there are three Nash equilibrium. One is uh, six zero, and then you have four four, and then you have zero six. Is that clear? Okay, and uh, if you redo this problem for even higher fixed cost, let's say C1, Q1 is 25. If Q1 is positive, zero. If Q1 is zero, and c2 q2 is 25 if q2 is positive and zero if q2 is zero you will find that there are only two nash equilibrium one is six zero and zero six so this four four will vanish okay so in this case you'll find that there are two nash equilibrium six zero and zero six okay so basically you know this is not surprising uh that you know with very high fixed cost uh you know you will not find these uh that this industry is worthwhile for two firms 
okay and then only one firm will survive and that will produce the na the, the monopoly output okay so this is also sometimes referred to as natural monopoly okay uh, so when fixed costs are high you know you will only find one of the firms operating in the industry and they'll produce the monopoly output uh, you if you want you can solve this problem uh, for a monopoly uh, output and you'll find that you'll get six zero okay six basically six six will be the output and six will be the price okay that's the the monopoly equilibrium okay and uh, that is exactly what we are getting here okay uh, so uh, 16 is uh, you know when fixed cost is 16 then these are three possibilities for the equilibrium and when fixed cost is higher than 16 so 16 is like a cutoff you know after 16 if the fixed cost is higher than 16 this 4 4 will vanish okay the reason is because the best response function will sh fall short of 4 4 okay and uh, and if it is going to fall short of 4 4 uh, it they'll never intersect at 4 4 and then you know the intersection will only happen at either this point or this point uh, which will uh, which would mean that uh, you know there'll be na there'll be natural monopoly situation is that clear to everyone Is that clear to everyone? Okay, and uh, uh, and if let us say the fixed cost becomes greater than thirty six, okay. Uh, so notice that the monopoly profit in this case is thirty. Monopoly revenue in this case is thirty six. So you know if if the fixed cost is greater than thirty six, greater than or equal to thirty six, then no firm would like to produce anything in this industry. Okay, so basically this industry will shut down is that fine because fixed costs are so high that even single firm cannot operate in this industry is that clear <laughs>